On the screen we've got quite a simple part which has been already roughed. Now, switching on and off the display of the stock model shows us where we have lots of excess material. So, what happens when we create a standard constant Z tool pair? Let's take a look. I'll just switch off the leads and links to make it more clear for you. Holding Ctrl and Shift and the right arrow key, I'm just going to animate this and then slow it down as we get to the additional stock. Now here we've got a great amount of stock and by ploughing the tool down the centre through this stock we are likely to damage or worse still break the tool. So the ordering of this constant Z toolpath is really not ideal knowing that I have a great amount of excess stock down the centre. Power Mill 9 had an additional parameter. So I have this additional stock parameter. I'm going to set this to 8 millimeters. So Pamel detect where I've got greater than 8 millimeters of excess stock and it will modify the ordering to suit. So let's simulate from the start again. Control and Shift. Okay. Okay now if the tool goes into the stock below, let me just rotate the axis a little so that you can see. Now you'll notice that it didn't. It lifted and machines the other side prior to entering the stock on both sides simultaneously, therefore preventing damage to the tool. 